Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about common misconceptions on big numbers. So the first one is the most common one and I got this comment a lot. They're saying I make a mistake on my videos and saying 3 triple arrow 3 has 3.6 trillion digits. So they keep saying that in the comments, uh, saying I'm wrong, you know, they said it's, it has this many digits. And I, the reason I think why they keep saying that is probably because of the number file video. You know, one of them talk about Graham's number and they make a mistake on that video. Uh, they, I think they make a cor they try to make a correction after that. But anyway, uh, mistakes has been made and a lot of people believe in that after watching that video. Uh, so that's what it causes uh, this misconception and probably a lot of people spread this uh, false information as well after that video. So that's why a lot of people still believe that this number has this many digits. But actually, you know, is it true or not? Well, of course, it's not true. Otherwise, I won't be making this video. So how many digits does 3 triple triple arrow 3 has? So basically, well, you can read this yourself, pause the video. So 3 arrow 3 is 3 to the 3, which is 27. 3 double arrow 3 is 3 to the 3 to the 3, which is around 7.6 trillion. And 3 triple arrow 3 is 3 double arrow 3 double arrow 3, which is 3 double arrow of 7.6 trillion, because 3 double arrow 3 is around 7.6 trillion. So this is 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3 with 7.6 trillion threes. So if you understand how this works, you already know this has way more than 3.6 trillion digits. Because the, just the number of threes in this tower is already 7.6 trillion. And 7.6 trillion is bigger than 3.6 trillion. And this is just the number of levels, not digits. And you know, if you talk about the number of digits, it's way bigger than 7.6 trillion in this case. Um, if you know, if you understand big numbers. So how many digits does this have? Um, basically, in short, 10 to the 3 has 4 digits. Uh, 10 to the 10 has around uh, 11 digits. So 10 to the n has around n plus 1 digits. So it follows the pattern. So 10 to the 100 is around, you know, it has 101 digits and 10 to the google so googleplex has one plus google digits so in other words this thing over here 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100 has one plus 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100 digits so basically this thing over here not including the base 10 this thing plus one will be the amount the number of digits of this number so um so let's say 10 to the 10 to the 10 with 100 tens how many digits does this number have? It's basically 10 to the 10 to the 10 with 99 tens, 99 levels plus one number of digits. So in other words, you know, 3 to the 3 to the 3, you know, with 7.6 trillion threes, basically it has this number of digits. Uh, but since 7.6 trillion minus 1 is basically, is still 7.6 trillion, so basically it will have around 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3 with 7.6 trillion threes that many digits. So in other words, 3 triple arrow 3 has around 3 triple arrow 3 number of digits. You know, for number that big, basically the number of digits is the same number. Uh, and so what about what number has 3.6 trillion digits then? So that number is actually 3 double arrow 4, which is 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3, with 4 threes. This is already a very big number. This is equal to 3 to the 7.6 trillion because 3 to the 3 to the 3 is 7.6 trillion. Uh, again, you start from the top to the bottom. So this number is around 10 to the power of 3.6 trillion. And of course, this number has around 3.6 trillion digits. So there you have it. This is the number. So 3 double arrow 4 is actually the number that has around 3.6 trillion digits, not 3 triple arrow 3. 3 triple arrow 3 is way, way, way more than 3.6 trillion, di trillion digits. It's around the same number. This one has around 3 triple arrow 3 number of digits. So there you have it. Uh, and then one more thing that I want to bring up. Uh, it's not a common misconception. However, I recently I got a commenter. He said he done a lot of research on BC Beaver and Rayo. And he said in the comment section, he said BC Beaver N or the BC Beaver function is much stronger than Rayo's function. So in other words, BC Beaver a Google is much bigger than Rayo of a Google. 
Um, so I'm kind of confused, and he even said he did a lot of research, but after whatever said online, it's the other way around, so I don't know why he said that. Uh, the, basically, in the comment, he said you can define first order set theory and the Rayos function in the Turing machines to generate massive numbers, which including uh, a, a Rayos number. And you can write a code to generate Rayos number in Turing machine, which requires a lot less than a Google states in Busy Beaver. And you cannot define Busy Beaver uh, in the first order set theory. And he also said Rayo is computable while Busy Beaver isn't. Well, I just um, kind of confusing and kind of weird that he said that. Of course, you know, I'm not too great, you know, Rayo's number and Busy Beaver, they are a lot more difficult to understand uh, compared to Graham's number. So, I mean, I'm not trying to, I mean, I just told him to look online, do more research, you know, everything you find online is basically the opposite of what he said. But exactly why is this incorrect? I mean, I'm not trying to explain why that's incorrect. You probably need someone smarter than me um, because I don't know. I just think, you know, this is not true. However, why is it not true? I don't know. Can you define Rayo's function in Busy Beaver or in Turing machines? I only know that Rayo's is uncomputable. That's the only thing that I'm pretty sure, you know, but everything like other than that, you know, can you write a code to generate Rayo, you know, or, or, you know, can you define Rayo's function in Turing machines? I'll let some other people to uh, explain that maybe in the comment section. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.